Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to video message number 29. A pair of panties. That's are. what we eat. Would you be quiet, Rosie? Are you through, Mr. Wizard? Yeah, I, I play a little bit, you know. Gaze at a graveyard. Terry? Terry? What? When was the last time you used the fax machine? And, supplemental question, did you fax a picture of your wiener to the district attorney? I don't know what a fax machine is. Terry, I faxed those pictures of your wiener to the... Listen up, the ratings just came in for last month. We are number one. We just grabbed every key demographic. Super duper. Yeah. 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 Super duper. That's nice. Way to go. Neat okay. Yes. Boy. That is good news. It is the fourth day of April 2024. 4424. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Power Trip Morning Show on a Thursday, best day of the week. Uh, I believe Tommy Olson. We also have the great Ben Lieber and a brand new uh, friend will be joining us today. We'll give uh, the icebreaker himself, Tommy Olson, a chance to meet Anna Bedding today uh, from St. Cloud State University. Fellow broadcasters looking to break her way into the business. So we'll get to know Anna Bedding today. We've got John Heffern with some comedy. It's the Power Trip Morning Show. Come on in. I'm glad you're here. I gotta tell you what, it's a different mentality, man. When you get in a fight when you're in your early 20s, it's a different thing going through your head, right? Uh, how old are you? 21. You can tell you're 21 because you have that 21-year-old, the puffiness that happens. Right? But when you get in a fight when you're in your early 20s, this guy's age, all you're thinking is, all right, I'm going to crush this guy, sleep with her, then maybe get a burrito. It, like, doesn't... of your evening <laughs> my age and about to get in a fight the only thing i'm thinking is all right what's my deductible <laughs> i don't know if i'm covered in this state <laughs> and let me tell you what fellas even if you beat the guy's <laughs> you're still gonna be sore <laughs> and unless that guy's nice enough to let you run out to your car and get your knee brace <laughs> Chips slash 1980s, late 1970s style open to the show, like to this song, where we do like freeze frames, like where I go, yeah, we go, yeah, sure, and we freeze like that, and then it says the name of the yeah. actor, yeah, and then, like, like one of us does the Austin Powers jump, you know, oh yeah, like, that'd when be he good. kicks his, air, yeah. His, his, yeah. his legs in the air, like following each of us into the building, and you know, coming up the stairs, like we're ready to put on a hell of a show. And then Tommy comes in and goes, Yo, son of a bitch! And he freezes right And then it says, With special guest, Tommy Olson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, Oh, yeah, he is special. <laughs> I like that. I'll talk to the video team. Did you do that, hi, Zach. Oh, hi, Zach. I hate that idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and your team can clearly put that together, yeah, right? Yeah, you got a team, team right? Please. The A team. Yeah, I'll talk to my, uh, my boys back in. In the video room. Yeah, call the crew. Yeah, the boys are yeah. back in town. Round yeah. up the crew. Tell them to bring all the equipment. Yeah, yeah. Tommy Lee, um, Vince Neal. I'm sure you, you can go home and nap while the uh, the ladies and gents edit it and make it look uh, professional yeah, and post yeah. it to all the appropriate channels. It is appropriate that we play that song today, uh, everybody, because it, it is uh, opening day down at the old ball field. Hell yeah. Yep. Oh. There's only one winner at Target Field. That's right. And it's not... Uh, it's not the twins, right? Uh, Aren't we supposed to boycott them or something? Are we supposed to boycott them? We are? I don't know. I thought Sauce told As me we were supposed station? to skip the entire season. Oh. Well, just like 30, uh, 30 or 40% of it. Aren't we the home oh. of the twins? No, I don't think so. I are thought we? they said they were. Are we the home of the twins? Zach, you would know. Ask your uh, your team. No. No, we're not. No, you won't ask your team? Are we the Wolves uh, yes, flagship? Wolves. Oh, the Wolves Wild. are good. Okay. Wild. They would go, go for football. Go for football, of course, yeah. Go uh, for basketball. Go for hockey.
hockey. Go, go for, for hockey. all sorts of stuff. Hey, is go it for Vikings, intramural and Vikings, ultimate frisbee. Vikings football. Yeah. Okay, so we have everybody but the twins. Yes. Aww. Well, what are they doing? Why don't we do that? Uh, they're feeling left out. I don't know. Uh, oh, hey, let me ask you a, hmm. a question. Uh, and I hope I'm not asking something inappropriate because I don't mean to put anybody in it's bad spots. Who cares? Uh, yeah, I don't mean that kind of inappropriate. I'll talk about T words all day long. <laughs> um, I, last night, I, or not well, a moment ago, I was listening to the uh, highlights of the Gophers ladies big win to get them to the finals of the NIT. I'm right about that, right? Yes, yeah, so. that was the semifinals. Yeah, and I, it was not Guernsey on the call. Oh. What station uh, are you listening to? I don't know. To? Maybe he's not. Yeah, I don't know. But it was the gopher call. Yeah, it was the gopher call. And we know the guy who did the call. Jeez Louise. I wish I had a memory these oh, days. Oh, Garzi's at the final four. That's why. Really? Hmm. Yes. He hey, remember when you used to go with him? Yeah, right now Sorry. he's probably on Radio Row getting to know... Don't say it. Jared Fogel or at least... People no, like him who seem very nice. I don't think he's, he's there. there. I don't this think year. he's on radio. I don't think row. he got the invite. I think he might be on death row. <laughs> All right, this is this is something that is absolutely safe to do on the radio. Now that Jared Fogel's in prison. Oh come on now. Who on radio row who represents a fast food joint is I'd most likely <laughs> to follow in Jared's footsteps? And I don't mean footsteps to lose weight. Hmm. There is. A... Do you have one top of your head going? That guy or that gal is absolutely. Headed down the wrong. I'd path. say the Geico lizard. <laughs> yeah, or those cavemen. The general. <laughs> you know. You know what? But you know what? Geico commercial makes me laugh, and it's it's the actress's delivery. Have you seen the one where she, uh, the the old lady talks about the Geico wanting to do insurance, and like his parents weren't supportive? Have you seen that one? <laughs> no. And the old lady so. goes, "He wants to do insurance, and he's good at it." <laughs> but like, you know, like a concerned grandmother, right? like let him chase his dream. He's a lizard. Geico. He wants to sell it. He wants to do insurance, and he's good at it. I just love the. I love her delivery. She she sold it right. Like it's not. Uh, it's somebody took that commercial seriously. Whoever that actress is said, "I'm I'm going to make this sound like a dramatic film. I'm going for the Oscar to make sure they believe that I truly think this Geico should should sell in insurance the rest of his life." Because of his skill set. Yeah, I can't find it. I love it. I put it in, uh, makes me smile every time. Lizard old lady, and I'm seeing some weird stuff. <laughs> a lot of it's purple. Looks like you clicked on it yeah, already. Was, man. Huh. Uh, must have been someone else. Man, that guy's, I mean, he's not a very tall guy. That must be half his size. <laughs> oh, wow, he's crawling up in there. Wow, look at him. Hey, he's even changing colors. He's a chameleon. Good job, Geico. Hey. Geico he's, Gecko. He's pink now. Can't, I can't Ooh. find it. Is well, it the if Geico, knows, Gecko's aunt? Uh, it might be. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It. It's just an older lady. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, you just... You uh, never do enough. In fact, one Saturday okay. night, I told him we were going out for ice cream. And he said, but I want to stay home and vacuum. My little G. My little Even as a boy, the gecko was extremely helpful. He could never do enough. Wait. In fact, one Saturday night, I told him we were going out for ice cream. And he said... But I want to stay home and vacuum. That's, that's the right voice, though. Oh, really? It sounds like that's the right voice. It's his aunt. He wants to do insurance. <laughs> and he's good at it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's a lot of Geico commercials. There's so many. There's so many. I'm looking at, uh, wow. There's a lot. Geico insurance. If the lizard was real, do you think his net worth would just be enormous? Probably, because I don't think Geico spend much money. They're very uh, frugal. Well, they don't have a wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. So they save a ton of money there. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if they had the guts to give him a huge Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> like Then I don't think he'd be doing insurance. Well, that's true. He wants to do adult films, and he's good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. See, that's why I've never been hired by any giant insurance company. I found it. You found it. Uh, Can you email it to me? Yes. It's not going to be worth it now, but still, it just makes me smile every time I see it. And they do run this one all Hawk. the time. Hey, would you guys let me know? Am, am, is Tommy coming in today? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I hope so, because he's got he's to break the ice for us today. We have uh, our new guest. We yeah. have Lieber. We have You're Tommy. not going to get a subject, by the way. I'm not going to get a subject? No. We have, Anna uh, Benning is our new guest. We have Meat Sauce Robot hey. later. Do you know Anna? 
Uh, no, I, I know, right? I know her work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I, um, she was on the. Uh... Oh, here, you go. hold on. Yeah, she looks very concerned. Same old lady. You're right. Well, I hope this is hilarious. It's not going to be. Worth you know, it. come to my home for summers. When it came to helping people, the gecko was born ready. And his parents argued with me. They wanted him to become a doctor. I said, no, he wants to do insurance and he's good at it. Oh, well, sure, he's <laughs> the guy. Gecko, gecko, I don't know why he makes me friend. laugh so much. Like, even back in grade school, while others played house, he protected it. Hey, slow <laughs> down. Geico helps find the right coverage for your car and home. Aww. You're not my dad. From cars to home to pets. I, I just love the concept that his parents thought his career choice was just BS. Yeah. And believe. look where he got. To Max's point, the guy's a mogul now. Yeah, he's a mogul. If he was real, he'd be worth billions, like Magic Johnson. So yeah, anyway, Anna Benning is on uh, today with us, and uh, she is a um, she's a, 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 um, a St. Cloud Stater who pro, uh, he, she put a tweet out mm-hmm. that said, uh, "Hey, you know what? I'm about to graduate. I'm ready to start my career in uh, broadcasting. Uh, anybody out there looking for some help?" I'm like, you know what? I haven't done anything good for anybody in a long time. <laughs> she wants to do broadcasting, yes. and she's good and she's at it. she's good at it. But maybe her parents think this is an absolute uh, disaster. And, could, and, and jumping yes. on the Power Trip Morning Show is a disaster as well. Speaking of disaster. They're not going to be happy oh, she's on this show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Icebreaker's here. Okay. He it's wants to do women, it. and he's good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he is. I bet he's a good lover, Tommy Olson. Who knows? I bet he is. I, I, I bet he's a concerned hey, lover. He's got a coffee. That must be from yesterday. Did you buy that yesterday and put it in the fridge? Yeah, I yeah, well, We well, know you, his story. You, you've said in the past you like to do that. I can't blame you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just get a cold brew or whatever and just throw it in the old yeah, fridge the, overnight. The old, yeah, the no ice so you get more. Mm-hmm. But if you have cream in your coffee oh, yeah. and you do no ice, it throws everything off. Because mm. then they throw like double the cream. In. I don't do cream. Cream hurts oh. the old stomach. That's a surprise. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> How are you, Tommy? Yeah, you know, woke up today, a little out of sorts. What's wrong, in brother? What I don't know. I, I'm a big routine guy in the morning. Yeah, yeah. But then I get in the car, my car is like, I, don't know, I feel cl- I cluttered. Oh, no. You got a dirty car? No, it's, got dirty it's really clean. Throw it to my own? But so like I set my work bag and then my workout bag on top of it. Okay, gotcha. And I go about 95 on the way here. Of course, you got to roll. <laughs> <laughs> And I had to hit he the brakes. wants to drive fast, and he's good at it. <laughs> I had to hit the brakes. Some guy, I don't know, whatever. Oh, didn't no. matter. You had to hit the brakes. Hit the brakes pretty hard. So How dare he? My Ooh. workout bag, Ooh. I never really zip it. Oh, Lord. So it goes forward, falls down in the front passengers, yeah. and um, AirPods everywhere. Oh, you got condoms. Oh. Yeah, dookie Just stain everywhere. draws. Yeah, but other than that, pretty good. Yeah, good, man. Yeah. Good. At least didn't spill that cough. Yeah, that's the most important part. Well, I already put one of these down, you know. So that's that's number two. That's number two. Hey, guys, you're not holding the puppy there. I, I had to look at you Damn. real quick. <laughs> how many how many milligrams of caffeine do you do a day? Well, Thursdays are crazy because then I got to go fire up a work day, you know. And fire that up. When you show up to a like a place and you always bring the juice, and then on a Thursday, mm-hmm. if you walk in and you don't have the juice, they're like, "What's wrong?" So you set up this you set up just failure because if you walk in. Like a mope, then they're not going to buy from you. You like the juice, yeah. So you got to bring juice. You want more juice? <laughs> the tragedy of having juice, man. Yeah, it's about the juice. <laughs> I get you more juice. The juice is loose. The ju- juice is loosey. <laughs> you like the juice. Uh, what's it like uh, um, being a sales guy? You guys should come. You, honestly, if you guys want to come shadow me for a day, hop on. Listen, there's nothing that I will say. This, I would be less nervous. If I were in a contest, it was let's say I'm on the latest Saw movie, <laughs> and the guy on the little tricycle was going to kill the person with the smallest penis, I'd be less nervous in that line than I would be trying to sell something to somebody. <laughs> no, you, you, you guys would you! be. <laughs> you guys would be so good at selling. No, so dude, good. You're so. I love you. Thank you for saying that. No, I get, I, I would be hugs. terrible at you it. You get on stage in front of so many people. You're thinking of going to just talk to one person and trying to help them is like what's what's hard about that. Uh, asking for money for anything. That's true. But doesn't it come down to? Doesn't it come down to knowing what 
you're selling. Yeah, if you know, oh. and then you build a relationship with them, mm-hmm. and then oh my you're, God. you're helping them at the end of the day. Why aren't you selling the Power Trip Morning Show? You want to sell the Power Trip Morning Show? you want to sell the Power Trip Morning Show instead of what you're selling now? You know? You or do you like be, making money? <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I feel like it's an easy sell to sell the Power Trip. It should be. Could you do it at least as a side hustle? I, you know, can you just do it in your spare time and cut deals? Yeah, I might talk to Greg and be like, hey, can you pay me commissions if I get some something slanging out there? Dude, I, oh, don't I ask guarantee for a base you salary. Will. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to be commission only. Yeah, yeah. Just a 1099 rep that I can write off even more. Yeah, you're great. just an independent contractor, just wheeling and dealing on the side, cutting deals, getting yeah. Zach a bidet endorsement. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or at least, like, finding you guys places to, like, pay you for an appearance of a show and stuff like that, or then Fine. give you a little side gig here. He wants to sell for the power trip, and he's good at it. <laughs> If you get him a, a bidet endorsement, I'll sing him a little jingle that'll go, Zach's bidet, all his poopy gets so washed away. Uh, and I, that was off the top of my head. Damn. Wow. That was Holy real good. Yo. You know what you mean? Good. Yeah, we're going to have to pull that off the archive player. That's what I'm remember saying. when he said his name? <laughs> I remember it felt like, oh uh, my God. Uh, we can't, go, it, it can't be Zach's bidet, though. That's not the name of the, no. the place. No. Do you have a bidet company that you would like to endorse? If anybody is uh, out there listening. I've been tweeting them nonstop because I've been using it nonstop. Oh, you use Whoa, it nonstop? nonstop. I mean, that what's going like, on, brother? It's how dirty is your butthole? <laughs> but the, the Dude Wiper 1000, I love that. But you know what? That I'm, can't I'm, be a real I'm, thing. I'm, I'm a free wiper, agent. What, what brand is Dude uh, Dude wipe? Wipes. So are ladies allowed to sit on a yeah, dude wiper? Yeah, what's wrong with ladies? There's a lady function on there, that little knob. <laughs> a lady, a lady function. function. I went to one of those one time. <laughs> <laughs> it aims a little bit differently? It, it turn it left, it goes a little further so, front. Out of curiosity, is Tommy allowed to come to the lady function if he wears proper attire? <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll just be turning the knob left and right. It'd be that, great. Right, classic. Uh, <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's still Harbor Hour. So, like, do you ever, like... Uh-oh. Take an edible, go on the bidet, and wait a minute. Take a number three. Just, uh, just uh, what? Isn't a number three um, vomiting? I don't have the heat hot or water hookup or whatever you're thinking. I don't have the hot water hookup, so no. But because um, it's it is a, uh, it's not bad when it's cold, but it it it's a bit shocking, and it's not necessarily something that I would find pleasurable. But sometimes you just you you sit on there for a little extra, right? You yeah. Know? Well, yeah. It, it's it's fun to clean the pipes out a bit. <laughs> Will this be in the eventual what? commercial? <laughs> I mean, Number whatever three. whatever if that's what the uh, the client wants, if that's what uh Tommy uh, negotiates. <laughs> What's the name of the, the company again? Dude wipes? Uh, yeah. All right, I'm rewriting the jingle as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Do yeah. you know what's the worst part about sales? I'll tell you right now. Um, I'll tell you the worst part. Man, do I have some answers to that question? <laughs> Go ahead. One day you can think you you are you could sell any you could sell something to Elon Musk, and then the next day you're so low you, you, that you're like, it, I can't even walk into this place because if they see me, they will never talk to me again. Mm. Yeah, mm. sounds like radio. It's a lot of yeah, a lot of self talk in the car. A lot of ups and downs. That's why. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Like uh, you're sitting. It's, you, it's, have you seen Dwight when he turns on the rock music? Of course, yeah. And he gets himself in the. Yeah. That's every time you. Every time I stop somewhere, it's either I'm listening to this show or I'll put on like Marvin Gaye or something. See that that's the problem. Like uh, every day you get your grade card. In every, sales. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I, 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 and I, you have to say, hey, listen, uh, give me money, and I have a hard time with that, man. That's I don't know why worst. it's a problem for me, but it always has been. If I go to sales calls, <laughs> um, I have to leave the room when they start discussing money. Yeah, no, screw Can't that. Can't do it. Mm-hmm. It's not good. Can't do it. But you should sell the Power Trip Morning Show, Tomers. Just on the side, man. <laughs> Think about how good you'd be at selling this morning show. You know this morning show. You listen to this that, morning show. It'd be a cool concept. Like, hey, I could tell you the ins and outs. Of <laughs> yeah. I could tell you the stories off air if you guys buy. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, yeah. That could be a good angle. Oh. That could be a good angle. That's I tell my stories. It's a hell of a character. The kids angle. call them angs. <laughs> yeah. It's a good ang. If you buy this package here, I'll, tell I'll you show you everything. this here package out. Yeah. Oh, I okay. do, if you're willing. I mean, how hard uh, are you willing whoa, to work whoa. here? Yeah, how hard? <laughs> yeah, we could be onto something. You never know. I think we are. It's baseball season, guys. It oh, I'm going like. today. Anyone coming? I can't. You're going today. I thought about I thought about going today. I really did. I thought about going today, 
Um, but I got too much to do this weekend. I can't. Mm. Yeah, I'm bringing some people for work. Jealous. Are you going to sell them some stuff? Well, I just, yeah, just going out there making sure they have fun. Yeah, yeah, that's all. You're not doing any pressure. Yeah, right. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll go to the Grey Duck tent and, yeah. or the Grey Duck uh, the bar. Yeah, 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 right. And sit out there. Just hang out. Yeah. Maybe, maybe mention the Power Trip Morning Show. See if you can sell them something. <laughs> see what happens. Let's yeah, see what happens. <laughs> More of the Power Trip Morning Show after this. The fan. The Power Hour begins at 8 a.m. You can watch it at kfan.com slash watch, and it's all powered by Quantum Fiber, your world unleashed. Cold Kingdom. I knew the song, so I was able to hit the post. Dude, just a, what a band, dude. Honestly, these guys, holy moly. Oh, Daddy, Eddie said he's in the cell, too. Oh, oh my. Are you serious? Small and I'll be you guys' sidekick, guys. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now. You can do it for an hour a day. That's all you need. Two I tell, hours a day. I tell you what, you go to a meeting with Schmoll, holy yeah, hell. Yeah, I'm going to do whatever you guys need. That guy's like the wolf when he He's walks the, in. The, uh, the Alec Baldwin. And I'm not talking about Wolf of Wall Street. I'm talking Wolf Dennis Stanson. D2. Uh, have you guys ever seen? You guys seen Mighty Ducks 2? Uh, kind of. No. I, no, I, no, I, I don't no, believe I've never that seen I knew it existed. Okay, Wolf to Dennis Stanson's the coach for Team Iceland. That's how Schmoll looks. Oh, yeah. My yeah. God, you guys, like, he just commands a room. I yeah. thought, why wouldn't you make a Glen Gary, Glen Ross, or Boiler Room I've, reference? I've, I've only seen the put down the coffee the scene. The always in there. be closing. Yeah. 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 I've never seen the whole movie. Remember the, uh, um, the, the Christmas version of that on Saturday Night Live? Where he's of the course, head, the, where he's the head elf. <laughs> oh, Alec for sure. Baldwin comes in, he does the always be cobbling. I think it is. isn't that what it yeah, is. Always he be snap cobbling. That's the elves. Yeah, dude. It's oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's hilarious. Man. Yeah, it's, it's a really yeah. good bit. He plays the exact same Glen Gary, Glen Ross character, just as uh, as you know the guy up in in the North Pole who's tired of the elves <laughs> slacking. Oh, big! It could just start without you. So let's craft Italian. Oh, One of the salad things going here. What the hell is that? Here we go. Hold on. Pardon my hands. Can I have your attention for a moment because you're talking about what? You're talking about the hammer? Bitching about the quality of your wood, some pixie you're trying to screw. Let's talk about something important. Put that cocoa down. <laughs> cocoa is for cobblers only. You think I'm screwing around? I am not screwing around. I am here from Chris Kringle. I'm here from the North Pole and I am on a mission of mercy. Your name is Honeydew? Yeah. And you call yourself an elf, you son of a bitch? <laughs> hey, I don't have to listen to this. You certainly don't, pal, because the good news is you're fired. <laughs> the bad news is you've got all, you've got one week to regain your jobs, starting with tonight's build. Oh, oh. oh have I got your attention now? Good. Because we're adding a little something to this month's toy contest. As you know, first prize is a shiny new toboggan. Anybody want to see second prize? <laughs> second prize is a box of candy canes. <laughs> Third prize is you're fired. <laughs> Everybody get the picture? You're laughing now? Huh? <laughs> you got tools. Santa paid good money for those tools. You can't build with the tools you have. You can't build garbage. You are garbage. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it because you are going out. <laughs> hey, our tools are weak. Your tools are weak. The effing tools are weak. You're weak. <laughs> I've been in this business for 615 years. Hey, what's your name? Screw you. That's <laughs> my name. <laughs> And you want to know why, mister? Because you rode a hedgehog to work, and I got here on a talking moose. That's <laughs> my name. <laughs> so dumb. Remember, boys and girls, always, A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be clo co always be cobbling, always be cobbling. <laughs> he screwed that up, and he smiles because yeah. he realizes he screwed that up. And everybody's trying not to break. <laughs> That's incredible. What's the problem, pal? Well, I mean, you're such a hero. You're so rich. Why are you coming down here and wasting your time with a bunch of bums? You see this gumdrop? <laughs> you see this gumdrop? This gumdrop costs more than the mushroom you call a house. <laughs> you see, pal, that's who I am, and you're nothing. Nice guy, I don't care. Good father, elf you. Go home and play with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> so good, dude. Yeah, I I don't know if uh, you would like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross in general, but yeah, that no. scene kicks ass. But yeah. you, Tommy, if you haven't seen Boiler Room, you would love Boiler Room. And Ben Affleck, even though it's nowhere near as cool as, as Baldwin's Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross bit, 
you would love his sales closing rant in Boiler Room. Really? First of all, Vin Diesel's in it. You're going to love any Vin yeah. Diesel movie. Yeah, you're right. oh, yeah, you should see Boiler Room. Okay, I'm good. I think you would like it. And it's about selling? It's a. It's like about stock, uh, like financial oh, advisors sure. and, and selling bogus stocks, but you got to yeah. close. Over the phone, got to get them to invest. And it's the same kind of a wow. thing it, where Ben Affleck's like, I don't care how you get them to give you their money, get their money. Yeah. And he is not effing around. Yeah. And that's what you and Big Ed can do, man. Yeah. Eddie and I are kind of like Tommy Boy at it. Dude. That's how we go about it. We need you. you driving along, driving along. Driving along, driving along. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> we need your help. No, but, oh, brilliant. Um, no, but yeah. Uh, Tommy Boy is my favorite selling movie. Second's Wolf of Wall Street. Hmm. Wolf of Wall Street's the bomb. Such dude. a good movie. All right, Tommy. Watch Boiler Room. Report back. Okay. How beautiful is she when she's sitting on the bedroom floor? Oh, when she God. she spreads her legs. That, that's I don't his, know what you're talking is about. Is that the scene you're referring I to? I, 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 don't, I don't recognize. Recall. I don't recall. Hey, is it true? Is it an urban legend or is it true that she truly didn't wear underwear just no, to she get late? She did. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. That it was, was an urban legend. Nude underwear. Oh, okay. Because yeah. but was it? Because that that was the rumor though. Correct? Is that yeah. she did it? To catch Leo off guard, to truly try to get him to react as yeah. if she was doing it for real. That was floating if, around. Wouldn't it have been great if she, without telling anybody, had put a big old strap on on? <laughs> <laughs> and once she, she, you know, spreads them and... <laughs> I would just need two more wishes. Uh, well, think you, of, like, think, think, of, think if she was <laughs> like th- if, if she wasn't wearing anything, and like the first clip, he was just like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, how do you? Right, like, well, and you're, she, she wants it. Keep like, acting, Leo. Oh, Keep man. going. Yeah. <laughs> What's the problem, Leo? <laughs> For the first time, well, right? There's a scene in uh, in um, in um, Django Unchained where he actually cuts his hand, and he's bleeding, but he didn't stop acting. I guess I don't remember that story. No kidding. Yeah, he like yeah. slams his fist on the table and actually like shatters a glass, and his hand gets like shredded. But he didn't. He stayed in character and didn't stop, and his hands bleeding. Wow. He would have had to do that if Margot Robbie went full Monty on it and just been like, "Here it is." Have you heard Jamie Foxx talk about that? By the way. About yeah. What, Django. Um, yeah. That would when when Quentin Tarantino pulled him aside. <laughs> oh no, I haven't heard that. Oh story. yeah, I just he just I think he just told it recently. He was saying like. <laughs> he, told, he said that Quentin Tarantino pulled him aside. He's like, you come in here with your freaking Bentley. Django's supposed to be a slave, man. He's not supposed to be cool. <laughs> and was like wow. getting after him about it. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 It's called acting. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Django's a tough watch, man. It's a really good movie. Such a good really movie. Really good movie. Yep. Really good. Uh, like front page sports. Power to morning two after this on The Fan. How do we Your Minnesota Timberwolves are on the road to the playoffs, and you can be there for every electrifying moment. Head over to our contest page to find out how you can join their playoff priority access and register for a chance to win a grand prize of tickets to every home Timberwolves game for the 2024 NBA playoffs. KFAN.com, keyword contest to enter. Tomers is here. Lieber's on his way in. Again, uh, Tomers, you ready for some ice breaking today, brother? Yeah, we were just talking about her. Who? So this girl's name, Anna? Anna Benning is her name. She's uh, um, she's done a lot of uh, uh, hockey coverage for St. Cloud State University and a lot of things like that. Okay. Uh, she's the assistant sports director there at their, their local stuff. But she also is a, um, I don't know if, I, I don't want to, um, um, I think she would technically be an intern uh, locally here in, uh, in uh, television. And so um, she just tweeted that she wanted to get a, her career started. Now that she's graduated in uh, in the business, I thought, well, let's give her a shot. Come on in. Let's get to know her a little bit. Anna Benny. Yeah. Okay. B-E-H. B-E-N-I-N-G. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm saying that correctly, but you never know me. You know, I don't know. I try. Cool. Yeah, we'll get to know her. Yeah, Do you man. know where she's from? I, I don't know anything about her other than uh, what it says on her, uh, her, uh, her opening page. Thing. All right. Let's just go in raw. We'll figure it out. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, she was an intern for uh, um, Don Mitchell, so she's uh, she's put some time hey, in. Hey, you know? do you guys know the name Jesse Pierce? She's like a yeah. wild. Yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Found out she went to Montemudi. You no just idea. know that? Is that right? Oh yeah. 
Yeah. No, oh, yeah, sure. That. She was like talking to Matamidae kids. She yeah. is a, uh, a fellow Livia uh, representative. Fellow Zephyr is what it is. That's what it is. It's sick. Isn't it, it is what it is. Yeah, it's great. What the hell is a Zephyr? It's God of the West Wind. God of the West that, that's Wind. Different. It's like yeah. a Spartan Trojan type thing. Mm-hmm. Sick symbol is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a USC Trojan. Like we copied exactly like my uniform in high school was the USC Trojans, but blue and yellow. Sick. Yeah. Was there any part of you that wanted to go to USC just to keep that consistent? <laughs> yeah. And then my first game was against USC. It after was high school. You were on the kickoff. <laughs> Corey, nice memory. Yeah, yeah. Look at you, man. I thought I was like a creative player out there. I thought I was so sick. Yeah, you felt <laughs> sick. And so did your coaches. <laughs> All right, front page sports. Let's, uh, let's learn. Here we go. Hold on. I'll get there. Hold on. Sorry. Here you go. <clears throat> Time now for front page sports, presented by Holiday Station Stores. Holiday Station yeah. Stores. I was there yesterday buying Powerball tickets. Oh, man. I and forgot. remember how I said the other day, even though I know this is stupid and uh, this is hypocritical because I normally rip stuff uh, like this, but when I saw my tickets last week and the numbers were all like in the 40s or higher, I'm like, that ain't winning. Yesterday at Holiday was the opposite. I had all three of my girls' birthdays in the number. I'm like, that's it. Random draw. There it is. Those all those look like numbers that could hit. And nobody hit it. Nobody hit again? Nobody hit it again. It's going to be $1.23 billion on, uh, on Saturday. Oh so anyway, God. I was at Holiday yesterday. You should go to Holiday today because at Holiday Station Stores, buy two, get one free. Red Bull 8.4 ounces. So if you want to wake up at Holiday, you buy two. Mix and match any flavors you want. And the great people at Holiday get you the third one free. That's right. God. Yeah, get her done, man. Imagine hitting that. Wednesday's yeah, numbers, uh, 11, 38, 41, 62, 65, and the Powerball was 15. Sounds like the uh, the million-dollar winner from a handful of days ago was uh, was sold in Fridley. Really? Yep. Uh, last night, no million-dollar winners from Minnesota, two in California, Georgia, a couple of Massachusetts, Min- uh, Maryland, New Jersey, South Carolina, and Washington. Found out another thing I love about Holiday. Go on. I'm glad I remembered this. You guys know Boom Chicka Pop popcorn? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Phenomenal popcorn. It's the best. It's so good. That's that's something you need in the in the passenger seat when you're driving. Well, that's the thing. It's just like... You're driving along. I'm kidding. No, driving along. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they, holiday is like like the grocery aisle, you know, yeah. like where you can get like stuff, and then they yep. put that boom chicka pop in there. Yeah, yeah. And then you see it's like oh, only a hundred calories. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but then they're the only place that has the uh, caramel and cheddar mix, so like a Chicago style mix. They're the oh, only oh. place with boom chicka pop of that flavor. Really? Is that right? So you Augusto get- sweetheart, save some room for later. So every week I go there, and you know, fill up, go walk around aimlessly for about twenty minutes, yeah. and then I grab, <laughs> I grab that, and then that's like my sweet for the week. For the week? Yeah. So like at night after dinner, like instead of like having ice cream or something, I'll just do like some popcorn. There you go. But it's usually, it's usually a Full bag. Yeah, that's the problem. It's only 100 calories, that whole bag. Yeah, well, you're on the road all the time. There's a lot of holidays out there. (laughs) Uh, The (laughs) Buffalo Bills traded wide receiver Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans for a uh, 2025 second round pick. That uh, actually is the Vikings pick. How weird is that? Yeah. Whoa. The one that the uh, the Texans got from us, uh, they're shipping it off. So Houston also got a 2024 sixth rounder and a 2025 fifth rounder. Diggs. Uh, kind of a giant dead money charge for the Bills. Slightly over thirty-one million next season in oh dead God. money. The Bills are going to carry. That's reportedly the most ever for a wide receiver. Man, how much do they hate Stephon Diggs? Yeah, they must hate him. Well, right. I mean, honestly. How, well, how much? How long does it take for Stephon Diggs to hate quarterbacks? All these quarterbacks have done, whether it's Cousins or uh, or Josh Allen, is just get him the ball a billion times and make him a ton of money, and he hates all of them. Yeah. He's going to hate C.J. Stroud. It just will take two or three years before him to hate that guy, too. He just hates his quarterbacks. Dude, that's your moneymaker. Right. Yeah, just shake see, your moneymaker. You see, what was it, a day or two ago, on social, he kind of threw Josh Allen under the bus. Really? Yeah, it was some, oh, man, it was something like, somebody on Twitter said something like, um, God. They said something along the lines of, like, Josh Allen makes Stefan Diggs better or he'd be fine without Stefan Diggs or something and Stephon similar to came that. back with just you yeah, sure uh, and then he's gone what is it about wide receivers I don't know I don't get it I don't know am I wrong doesn't it seem like it's always the wide receiver yeah yeah them and cornerbacks 
Yeah, but which, you know, what's yeah. Pete always say? If they could catch, they'd be wide receivers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know how, how Parrish yesterday was talking about how when Zach Bogosian had that pass to Mason Shaw, that the pass was so good that Shaw almost just looked back at Bogosian like, right. dude, that like, thank you. That was such a great pass. Like, I can't do that goal without you. Like, that was so awesome. Thank you. Right. I don't understand why wide receivers like Diggs don't get that if Josh Allen and Kirk Cousins don't constantly get you the ball, you're just running routes. You're just a sprinter. They got it. You have a, you have to have a quarterback who's good. Doesn't matter how good of a receiver you are. You're going to think, remember Justin Jefferson's face, those last handful of games, how frustrated he was getting mm-hmm. when he was open and the ball wasn't getting to him. He's like, God, come on. Pass me the ball. I, I don't. I don't understand why Diggs is always unhappy. Yeah. All he's done is put up monster numbers, make a ton of money, have a ton of success. What's the problem? I don't know. But Col- Hawk, yes, I, you just said why is it always receivers? Yeah, and it's never the quarterback because receivers don't have to lead anything. They don't lead anyone. You know, they're just out there on their island. They just have to do their job, mm, yeah. one, run their route, and they'll grade out at 100% every time. Wow. They just go do their job, clock in, clock out. I think the quarterback has to lead the whole team. Yeah, I And mean, that's right. why you never hear the quarterback complain about anyone. Right. And they always take the blame. It's like the worst position ever to be. Well, <laughs> and, and, and uh, you know, the wide receiver is always open. You know what I mean? Oh, my <laughs> like, God. If you yeah. ask him, he, always, I, I, he was always open. And, and I'm sure a lot of times he probably was open. It would get frustrating, like if you're streaking and like they blew a coverage and he's just wide open. If you're like sprinting, and yeah, that would get yeah. frustrating. But that's why all. you have to be grateful when a quarterback <laughs> like Josh Allen for right. four years in Buffalo yeah. just feeds you the ball. In fact, in the last four years since he went to Buffalo, mm-hmm. Diggs leads the league in receptions with 445. So <laughs> no one has gotten the ball more than him in the last four years. You sure, Devonte? <laughs> you sure, Devonte Adams? Four catches back at 441. Tyree Kill 436. Most like, catches what does he last want? Four, he, what does Josh he want? Allen's like a top five quarterback. Right. <laughs> but here's, you know, I'm sorry, uh, Corey. It's a lack of self awareness, if you ask me, because yeah, a wide receiver may be open every time. He's not thinking about the fact that the quarterback was getting killed by a 350 pound. <laughs> right, right. And you even know? if they have 13 well, receptions, <laughs> even if they have 13 receptions, they're going to complain they didn't have 14, 14 or 15. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, right. So kind of interesting. Houston moved up a little bit uh, after acquiring Diggs. They're now 16 to one on DraftKings to win the Super Bowl. I just think it's interesting that the Bills basically didn't move after the trade. They're still about twelve to one, which was I think that's a, I think they might have not moved at all. They might have been twelve to one before the trade. Oof, I don't agree with that. Not putting in a bad spot. Who else do they have as weapons? Nobody. No, literally nobody. Because the they just problem. like Gabe Davis yeah. too, right? That's why I'm saying oh. how much do they hate him? Exactly. To trade him away when they have no other <laughs> wide receiver on the field. We'd rather play the game without a wide receiver than have you. <laughs> Uh, that, that division's going to be ruthless this year, too. Yeah, man. It, this does seem to happen all the time, and if Sauce was here, he would say it's a conspiracy, but it, oh, is, it seems to happen course. all the time. But the, <laughs> the Texans host the Bills this season. Oh, come on in. It is weird how whenever there's a big move in the <laughs> yeah, NFL, it, it just like seems it. to, like, yeah. like I believe the, doesn't Russell Wilson face the Broncos this year? Right, Kirk Cousins faces the yeah, Vikings this year. Like, yeah, it just seems to work out ball. that way. Maybe, uh, maybe Even though Wilson it's predetermined years in advance. Exactly, but, but that, don't let people like... But you see, Cor, when Buffalo wanted to get rid of Diggs, the NFL said you have to send him to Houston. I'm just telling you. I'm just you. telling you. I'm fine, BDIs. You see, he's in Paris, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he hates it, I bet. No, I bet you he's just eating everything. Yeah. That's not what my sources say. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't take right. shots. Like, okay. I bet you he is this week. I bet you he is. You think he's that's, giving her hell? That's not I, what I've heard. Yeah, I bet you they're all over. Yeah. I, why why, why now? Yeah, no, no, I, I'm with you. I, I, well, isn't this technically, I know we do like bits, but isn't this technically their honeymoon or is this just more of a trip? I really don't know. No. It's, this <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is no, the. No, bit aside, this is just a trip. Okay. Is oh, that right? <laughs> yeah, I believe Cabo, bits, Cabo was their honeymoon. I saw Rosie on Monday at breakfast. At one, oh, uh, one of his honeymoons? Over at the Good Day. <laughs> good Day. Good day. Yeah, oh, I ate there for the first time the other day. And? Oh, freaking phenomenal. Yeah. That's so a spot, good. man. That's my spot. Got to get the Dark place. Star special, which is a basket of wheat toast to go. Let me tell you right now, I know <laughs> why he did that now. Their toast is strawberry jelly is the best. That jelly that you can that take? strawberry oh. jelly, baby. The wheat toast, man. You know it's a good uh, spot? Why well, it's a good spot? You can go sit at that, like that bar. The bar. Yeah. No one's judging. Let me tell you right now. You think I ain't been doing that for the last five months? <laughs> Tio, go to that bar. Yeah. There's a Minnesota Poker Monthly magazine at that bar with Blake Bond on the cover. 
Sticky and in the, pages. And in the bottom left hand corner, because it was from 2013, oh. it says Corey Cove wins Spring Poker Classic. Wow. Yeah, that was 11 years ago. I'll for sure take a look at that. Grind it along, grind it along. Do you actually, Corey? Yeah, because Blake's friends with the, uh, the, the the people that own Good Day, so his uh, his his magazine is right behind oh, the bar there. Next time I'll, you're at the I'll bar. Look. Yeah. Dude, they got cool. a little grotto outside. Yeah. yeah. Great cool place to sit. In a, you ever been to the street. other side of it, at that Metropolitan Club? Oh, uh, like a million times for at charity events. Charity yeah. events, yeah. yeah. It's a cool spot. It's a great spot, and it's been there for a long time. Apparently. That's where we should host the po- like the room party. I don't know why we don't do it there. That'd be sick. It's I, like I'm, all white. I'm with you. It'd be perfect. I, let me tell you something it's right now. all white. Oh, not like that. Sorry, like Max. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I know it's fun. Max. He'll be Mark. running the board here anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they just repainted everything. Oh, yeah, got yeah, it. No, I got you. They did a lot of work there, man. Hey, um, you're going to do Hawk Fest, right? You're Hawk. singing a tune, right? Yeah. Hawk, it's a bad day, man. Yeah, I know. I know it's the weekend, right? I mean, it's like. It's tough. No, it, that's Cess's birthday. I know what I'm saying, plans. man. That's I know. I know. Fest? No, Cess Fest is retired. Isn't that sad? Oh, Why is it what? retired? Whoa, okay, that's mean. Yeah, you can't Why? say that. Thir- it just, she's 31. She so said, what? I feel oh. like I need to grow up. So instead, I almost of, swore. instead of having a Cess Fest, she's like, I need to grow up. I was like, okay, what do you want to do? She's like, well, let's go day drink at Cowboy Jack's. I'm like. On, on the rooftop, she goes, yeah. I was like, okay, well, there'll be 23-year-olds yeah, there. Yeah. So, like, yeah. You're going younger. You're going <laughs> yeah, right. the wrong way. I know. Tell her to go play pickleball or something. I know, I know, yeah, I, know, go, I, know I know. Go do some knitting. <laughs> go, go, go have a lunch meeting with your insurance guy. He <laughs> wants to do it, and he's good at it. I know, I know. No, I... I can't. I Tell you how much I hate that news. Yeah. No, but day drinking, for at, no, day drinking at CBJ's is fun. Yes, but that's a normal Saturday. That's true. <laughs> that's what is only comes around once a year. Give or take. What really matters <laughs> is next Power Trip Morning Show on the fan. The fan. Get ready to laugh when comedian Anthony Justin that comes to the State Theater on Saturday, April 20th. Tickets for both the early and late shows are on sale now. More info at kfan.com and your calendar. So I don't want to say it yet because I don't want to jinx it, Christopher, but uh, obviously tomorrow, Scalar Brothers, right? Yeah, yeah. They're at Acme tonight uh, and uh, tomorrow and uh, Saturday. They were here last May. They played initials. Hilarious dudes. Great they're guys. awesome. They're at Acme. Go see them. But they're going to play initials for the second time tomorrow. We might have... Another pretty big comedian relatively soon in studio playing initials. Was it somebody that somebody just promoted by any chance? No. Okay. If it was Jezel Nick, I'd be Jezel Nicking in my pants. <laughs> Understood. Oh. I hate that I got the same punchline when you said that. Did you really? Oh, yeah. I just didn't know if you could say it. No, I love Anthony Jezel Nick. And, and I love the other name as well. It's just a name that's newer. And to the like, Tommy hadn't even heard of the guy that I'm talking about. Newer to the mainstream. Correct. You and I are fans, though, Zach. You're yeah, a fan. Yeah, long time. Yep, Andrew same. Dice Clay. Yeah, oh, Dice. You nailed I knew it. it. I knew it. By the, by the way, one other thing. <laughs> speaking of speaking of long term, we got to think about this. Um, when I saw that the Scalar Brothers were interested in coming back in and doing initials, I went to Acme's website. I'm like, oh, I wonder who else is upcoming. Yeah. Did you see the name who's coming this summer? I think I know who you're talking about. Go for it. Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, Bobcat. Yeah, that's it. Bobcat. Thank you. I knew I was going to ask about that because we got to ask we have Acme. so much to talk to him about. You know I, what I we mean? We got to get Acme uh, to get Bobcat to come in. God, when I saw that he was coming, I, that's the first thing I thought of because the, the there's so much to that guy's career that's beyond just doing stand up comedy. I would love that. You know what? You're right. I, we gotta, I gotta get on. Let's that. get a whole bunch of police academy sound bites from Bobcat. I bet system. He, he'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love Bobcat. I love him, man. He made he's he made me laugh so much in my uh, childhood. He was a big part of the eighties. Damn right. At least for me, he was. You damn right, Bobcat. Tommy, you have no idea who we're talking Not about. Not a clue. Not a clue. I'm just Vegas is on my mind, and I can't stop. Well, oh man, I hey, know. Hey, you're on the I show next Wednesday, there. correct? You're willing to come in Wednesday, That's or is that not thing. working now? I got a pretty big meeting on Wednesday. Oh, no. no. See, you're not going to Hawkfest. Oh, no. Your big There's boy no... job is screwing this What's up, going man. On? Yeah. What the hell, You should be working big boy job for us. That's what I'm saying. I would absolutely love it. But, yeah, I, uh, it's getting in the way. You got to do what you got to do. We get it. But I just can't believe you're not going to be with us in Vegas. Yeah, oh, trust me. I no. just It doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's going to be like there's no slot machines out there or something. My, my whole thing, like, think back of all the Vegas trips. Uh, I Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're pretty blurry to me. They all kind of mold into one. Yeah. What's your guys' is like couple of favorite moments that you like from it? That girl that couldn't talk, talking about Zach history. Which, by was... the way, I loaded that in. Congratulations, by the way. 
<laughs> she got married yesterday. Did oh, she really? So. Hey. Amazing. Those guys were at TI last oh, week. Oh, they were? They're, yeah, they're they were. all the time. They're phenomenal. They're yeah, great. Super nice. A lot of experience, <laughs> a lot of distinction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, NCAA. Go Minnesota. Yep, NCAA. <laughs> this one, that was, uh, I loaded that in five years ago today. So the, the, it was probably like two or three days ago because I always loaded mm-hmm. it in when we come back on Monday. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm-hmm. So Zach Daniels came out. Not yeah, not like that. what's up? Well, he came well, like, out like two years ago, no, but he no, came no, out to Vegas came out, but like, you, like, six years ago. That's when you blew up. That's when you that was that one. Was that the same one? Yes. That was well, your you, coming out party. Yeah, right. Oh. And you had the white pants on. Yeah. And the yeah. Button, no, that, that was shirt. different. That was a couple years after. Oh, it was. But. Yeah, that yeah. was he. He uh, he played the game and he won, and I was proud of him. It was so fun. I'll yeah. say this though, and uh, I, you know, I would argue it's a top three moment maybe in the history of the show. Carl winning the jackpot. In Vegas, yeah. and the whole I, yeah. bar yeah. losing their minds for him. Yeah, and then the next morning, because he he said, "Hey, if I win this, I'm I'm going to find a flight and get out there and party with you guys tomorrow." And he, yeah. when we had him walk in the following morning at like six o'clock in the morning, uh, so four o'clock Vegas time, and that crowd just embraced him like, "Dude, you're a god. Huge. You got it." Yeah. And he just was a rock star for 24 hours, and people wanted pictures with him, and he was signing autographs and whatnot. It was the coolest. It was the best. Everybody wanted to meet Carl. That was a Thursday. That was the Thursday. He won it on a Thursday, and then he was in Vegas with us Friday morning. He he was a man of his word. I flew home that next day, that Friday, and that Friday, hungovers all get out. That was my first day of work at my new job. Of course it was. I look at Mark Rose, and I'm like, (laughs) what a classic. Yeah, what a classic. But that was the same time as Zach Daniels. Yeah, Yeah, that was was the same That was his year. That's when all of us were hammered. That was like a big time. That was a fun, fun weekend. That was maybe my most fun trip. Hawk, that's when, I swear, that's when you were handing out money, too. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was the good old days. (laughs) (laughs) In a time. Hawk, you know that was the Hawk, I think, Hawk, I, yeah. I think I paid you back or I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure you did. Zach, your hand. You know why we were all hammered, right? No. Because they, you guys, before the show, yeah, uh, the, that week, yeah, all picked your favorite drink. Shots. Oh, that's, that's right. right. And right. then they got shots for everyone of every single shot. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Of like all 14, 15 of them. That was that was the that was the podcast that got deleted. Yeah, yes. oh. that's <laughs> the famous podcast that got deleted. That's I right. I gave out the wrong room number. <laughs> was that also oh. the time that Parrish got stuck with the bill? That's, that's the correct. Right. That's that's is that the time I the, 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 one of the times. One of the times. Is yes. that the time I blew your mind? Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A lot of, a lot of the the we talked about it yesterday. You guys did talk about it yesterday. Uh, yeah. But you it, it, that was a big trip. That's that was big, a, man. That, that changed, that changed your life. everything. That, a lot of things yes. changed that day. I mean, and this, I know you don't appreciate when I bring this up. One of my other favorite moments is trying to figure out who pooped on my couch. <laughs> oh, do you remember that? I, uh, yeah, yes, I remember it. We all remember. Sure do. <laughs> that was, you guys talked about that for a good week. It was afterwards. hard not to. Yeah, we uh, there we was a poop stand. decided to do the long play on that bit. <laughs> yeah, even though we had a lot of people going, please for the love of God, move on. Yeah, I think I left that shirt uh, there. Zach Daniels, he's a great guy. He he comes from a lot of background. Uh, yeah, you do come from a lot of background. <laughs> I love all of your background in uh, White Bear Lake. There's a lot of it. That's a lot of background. We were yelling, like, <laughs> we were yelling like to Rosie to do something to Hawk or something. Remember me? Oh, it was something. very vulgar. Dude, I, I need to great. listen to that deleted podcast again at some point because <laughs> I, that was so much joy. It was everyone having their own we show and we were all tossing at a mic. Three or four shows going on at the same time. Yeah, that was the best. Think how far we've come. Jerry's just right? sitting there like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> it was a train wreck. It was just yeah. seven people with microphones all having seven different conversations. It was a nightmare. But do you remember? Our bosses were legitimately, this is not a bit, mm-hmm. embarrassed. Like, yeah. you have to take this down. This makes us look so bad. Yeah. And we all kind of were like, oh, man, fine. We kind of... We put up a little bit of a fight, but we're like, all right, at the, at the end of the day, you're probably right. Now, I'd say, no, we're leaving it up. Yeah, we're proud of are. it. We don't care that it's a train wreck. <laughs> Leave it. Right, hey, ben, ben? Ben gets it. Yeah, ben, ben was goes. there one year, too. Yeah, ben, Ben's ben been ben to Vegas, Vegas with us. With us. Yeah. I remember Not we wore, one, like, the same shirt. Didn't look the same, but we had, like, a similar ah. shirt on. Yeah. God, it was great. Yeah. Playing slots with Ben. I still have a selfie from it. Uh, good times, great old times. Great yeah, that in one of your hidden folders. 
Do you, do you know you can have like a, a fake calculator app? Yeah, Sauce. Oh, hell said, yeah, man. Oh, Sauce yeah. was the first one that told us about that because he said a handful of his friends have that. Yeah, that's yeah. what he said his friends have. Yeah, he used the air quotes incorrectly. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Or he was just showing off his pinkies, one of the two. But still, uh, he said that a long time ago. So that was the first time I'd heard about that. Hey, uh, Do I um, use one of those? I have. I might have one. <laughs> I just like calculators. A big, big math guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you need two calculators? <laughs> That's. I'll put that as another thing you probably shouldn't air publicly. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Well, well that, I mean, yeah. at Back this point, day. Ben, just why not? Let's just let it rip. Uh, hey, Tomers. Yeah. Real quick, uh, uh, revisiting Bobcat Goldthwait. Oh yeah. As mm-hmm. Scuba Steve points out, uh, he was Pain in Hercules. Oh, really? Yeah. The voice? All the right. voice. Yeah, yeah, the voice of pain and Hercules. The two little guys? The two little guys, yeah, right. Ben, you a fan of Bobcat or oh, not? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bobcat Yeah, when, he, when I was driving, I'm like, oh, man, that oh. guy. Oh. You know, I'll I'll um, I'll um out myself with this. No, no, calm down, Zach. No, calm down, Zach. <laughs> calm down, Zach. Now, keep in mind, we were young, right? Yeah. When Police Academy came out, we were pretty young. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. My brothers had to tell me that he doesn't normally talk like that. Right. Because I really thought that that was like right. his normal His voice. actual voice. I'm, I'm like... This guy's great. <laughs> I'm like, do you think? And then I would like ask questions like, is, is this, you know, is this how he talks in a normal life? And like, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, no, he's, <laughs> he's acting. One Crazy Summer, Police Academy, what, Scrooge? He's in Scrooge a lot of 80s movies. Great, man. Love that show. I love that dude. Yeah, yeah man. He's coming this summer. Maybe we, we can we get Bobcat get on. on. Have Bobcat on Twin Cities Live. Done. Let's do it. By the way, shout out to your daughter. Ames did a really good job at the uh, the Twin Cities Auto Show. Oh, the auto show? Oh, I caught that segment the other day. She did a really good job. Didn't seem nervous. She's no, I was, yeah, I was surprised. She was very, very nervous about... Well, she, when Didn't I, seem nervous. Well, when I proposed the whole idea to her, she was very... Right away, I was like, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then, like, the day of, she's like, I don't want to do this. Like, I, I, this whole thing being live, I go, it's not live. She's like, it's not. And like her whole, everything changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, no, no, no. We, this is just a tape thing. I'm like, we're, if you make a mistake, we'll just do it over. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, it's it'll be quick in and out, whatever. So like the fact that it wasn't live, she was just like, okay, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. she did great. That was cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, good work. Yeah. Uh, back to Vegas. Yeah. You guys on. are staying in Paris, right? The, uh, well, mm-hmm. yes. The, mm-hmm. the Paris Hotel, yes. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever ate, ate at the nice little diner thing? The one that's right on the strip there? Yeah, I've, never, yeah. I've only walked by people oh, yeah, there. Yeah, I've had breakfast there. Breakfast there a lot, good spot? Yeah. Like it. Yeah, breakfast is good there. Right? Yeah, on a nice day, there's really few places better. Why am I blanking on the name of it, though? I don't know. Why do I feel like it has it's an X in C. it? Doesn't it have an X in the name? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. What the hell is the name of that Johnny place? Johnny K proposed there? Did he really? Or up Eiffel in the Tower? steakhouse. I think up in the top, right? Maybe. I and think then, that's correct. You guys, what's going... So do you know when you guys go to B-dubs? Sure. And then... Mm-hmm. I never really go over the street. That's usually where I stop. Like Alexa's. You know, do you know what I'm talking there about? There you go. Uh, where not, B-dubs is, and then... You mean across the street there? Yeah, to go to like MGM. Yeah. I never go down there. Why not? Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. It's a just, pretty it's, dicey area right now, by the way. It's kind of just Don't like, bring your kids, It's kind of like in my head. Oh, really? That's where I stop when I walk, when I'm drunk. Hmm. It's just... That's I'm home, but isn't aren't they putting something new right yeah, there? Yeah, they're renovating it. They they have a giant like mall going in right there where all those uh, that garbagey yeah. shady strip mall area yeah. was. Yeah, they tore that all that a, down. That was a weird loop. Wasn't yeah, that it? was not a great spot. It's getting much better now. It's just I don't know how far away it is from being done. You guys heard about the bar down there? That yeah. has a rooftop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one that Johnny sick. Bones told us. Johnny Bones, and I've been there a couple of times. It's awesome. What is it is called? Is it good? Blue. I've never been. Something dog. They have them everywhere, man. And that's the the great thing about that that new mall or that new thing they're building is they're going to have multiple rooftop bars down there. Right there, because people, they're they're realizing people. Brewdog, that's it. Brewdog. Brewdog. Would it be a good spot to like start up for like a, like a, we're doing like a basher party, we're planning something out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a sweet view. R.I.P. to Margaritaville. Yeah, I know. That's a bummer. It is a bummer. The biggest. The place It's dead? Yeah. It's dead, man. Dead in the water. First, Jimmy, now... Yeah, yeah. I mean, both tragedies. You think they held on just as long as Jimmy did? Yeah, they want to break. He wouldn't have let that happen. (laughs) He is rolling over in his grave right now, knowing that they're not going to let us. Well, you guys have fun. I'm excited. Oh, we will. Oh man, it's going to be less fun without you, dude. Well, you guys will do great. You know, I got being uh, honest, a little, a little honesty on the show for once in our damn lives. Yeah, those shows give me a bellyache. Because it, it's hard to do a radio show for uh, people who are really smashed and then really f- almost asleep. 
Uh, and I can't help but be affected by whether the crowd is excited or not. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I find myself being a dancing monkey for three hours uh-huh. trying to get people to be entertained. So I, I like I love being out of Vegas. I love hanging with the listeners and having a good time and stuff like that. But the actual show, I worry about it for about three weeks beforehand. Yeah. It's, it, it's, a, it's a lot. <clears throat> the one time I saw you guys in action, dude, you are you are in and out and bobbing and weaving in that crowd the whole time. Yeah, I... I, I I want. Please like me. You know, oh, I, mean? I can't help that, myself. Brother. You know what I mean? Y'all mean? Then the seven a.m. tireds hit. Oh, Lordy. And yeah, that's still my favorite t- part. Core, that is. I love when you announce it too because it's so spot on. I-, I love that you can be done with work at seven, go back to the room and nap for a couple of hours, mm-hmm. and you wake up and but it's you ten a.m. How do you, you can? No, it's easy as hell. You go back and no, nap. You're, you're drinking a few of those. Oh, I, I, don't, I could take. I could drink six of these and go take a nap. Oh, I might be hell, right doesn't now. affect me at all. No way. Hours. That's, that's, I could that, hammer that entire coffee that, that Tommy has right now and then sleep yeah. all day. That was the hardest thing for me to do when I was out there with you guys, Remember, is to yeah. get up early. 2.30. Mm. Start, your, start your engines, have an espresso, coffee, energy. I think I had a Red Bull. Like I don't really drink Red Bulls that much. I'm drinking a Red Bull on the way there. I get all like pepped <laughs> up. And then the show's over. I'm like... Well, I can't go back to sleep. Oh, oh my God. And then, tried. What, what do I do now? It's worth it. Let me I, tell you I, right now. Yeah, and then you're buzzed because I'm drinking during it. The best time, my favorite part of those trips is when we're done with the show, I go back, I unload my stuff, put on my walking shoes, and take off, man. The, yep. the, the sky is as blue as it gets. The, you know, there's a faint smell of puke every now and again on the strip. Mm, no you know? crowd, though. But there's no crowd. You know, you get the kind of giggle at people who are making the walk of shame. But it's so beautiful, and the temperature's great. I, that's my favorite part Love of the Love the day. morning walk in Vegas that, as well. Yeah. Go that, to Pepper Mill and walk back. No, I... Ben, that's a on, long way. You're on. It's like, long long it's like post-show, and you've had about eight to ten shots, and you're drinking the whole time, and you have <laughs> 700 to 800 milligrams of caffeine, and then you go to try to work out. It's a... It's a, a huge mistake. Who yeah. works out on vacation outside of you and Ben? Uh, more of uh, the Power Two Morning Show and What Really Matters <laughs> after this on The Pin. The electric rock duo 21 Pilots are headed back to Minnesota. Catch them October 12th as they bring the Clancy World Tour to Target Center. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. And you can find out more info at kfan.com by making the keyword calendar. But caller 11 right now will skip the line and win a pair of tickets. That's 1-800-320-5326. Caller 11 going to 21 Pilots October 12th at Target Center. Have you guys seen The Gentleman yet on Netflix? I haven't. No, no I've, I've heard a lot of good it, things yeah. about it, though. But the ratings are okay. It's like yeah. 70 or 80 or something on Rotten Tomatoes. But I've had multiple people tell me I should watch it now. You would really like it. It's got the feel of Succession, hmm. kind of with Thrones. But then they have a little uh, suits to it. Hmm. Where it's just like another thing keeps happening and predi- like another thing keeps happening. Okay. But it's good. You really like it. And then another the thing, Selling Bever- Beverly Hills. Okay. My heavens. Phenomenal show. Anyone seen Selling Beverly Hills? Uh, no. no. That's a good one. Well, you know what? Let me take that back. I think I've seen, <laughs> I think I have seen that. Yeah. That's not, well, they have like the Selling, selling New York. They're they selling have... Sunsets and they're selling Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills is the number one agency in the world. It's called The Agency, and they sell these yeah. homes. That okay, you, I've seen that. It's I, un, seen it's it. I haven't seen it in quite... Because it's been out for a couple seasons. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Season I have not, I've not right seen like, the latest season, but yeah. Like, they're selling... Like, you see the commission, it's like $1.5 million for oh, selling sick. the whole. Oh, it's sick. It's insane. These yeah. houses are so cool. You guys following that, the, uh, the commission thing that's changing? Right, the s- standard kind of 6% thing has been... No. No, deconstructed. Uh-huh. Please tell me that in, in a good way. For oh, yeah. You. The industry yeah. is a change in. Benjamin. So what's the story? Bad for realtors, good for uh, us. I haven't seen the, the latest update. I, I'll, the last uh, thing that I read is that it was that 6% standard fee was going away and it was going to be much less. <sighs> but we'll see. Man, do you know what's tough about buying a house? All the closing costs and all that stuff. They really get you. I remember I was doing that for my first house a couple of years back. My heavens. Uh, so, so, my, so my buddy, he doesn't work there anymore now. He works at a, a big firm in Miami. Um he worked for Mauricio? Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. He worked for he worked for that company. Did he really? Yeah. Man, what a and, and and his his Instagram was full of just like the hey, just got this listing, ten point five million dollars, blah 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 blah. Like he was selling baller houses. Dang. And now he's selling the same thing in Miami. 
At the Miami agency? I don't know which agency he's at. They just went to the agency in Miami. It's sick. How about this, Benjamin? Here's what I just read. CNN.com from a couple weeks ago. Uh, For the average price American home for sale, which is $417,000, sellers are paying more than $25,000 in brokerage fees. Those costs are passed on to the buyer, boosting the price of homes in America. That fee could fall by between six to 12000 after these new moves. So at least half? At least, yeah. Wow. That would be huge. That'd be huge. That'd be huge, man. People could use the help right now. That's cool. You know? Mm. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, in, the, in, a, in a world where everything's digital. In a world. In a world I think that's, where everything's digital. I think digital. that was part of the push, is that it's not nearly as much no. work as it used to be. It used to be a ton of work yeah, a ton to of work. sell a home. Now it's a lot more procedural, I, I would guess. Yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of people aren't doing like full, like true open houses and spending, you know, eight to 10 hours on a Saturday there. Like a lot of things is virtual. You can just click, <laughs> yeah, click on the, you, you, you go through the house one time with the special camera, upload it and you're like, hey, here's your virtual tour. Yeah. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Uh, let's do a wild news because we have a, a nice little sponsor. Their name is Catalyst Supply and CatalystSupplyCo.com. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Catalyst. <laughs> Thanks, for Zach. Oh, uh, the Wild yeah. did not play last night, but it wasn't a good night for them because the team they're chasing won. Yeah. So again, every time we even have a glimmer of hope, we're going, oh, we're only six points behind the Kings, but then the Kings beat the Kraken five to two. Uh, so the Wild now eight points behind the Los Angeles Kings of Anaheim. The Wild do host Colorado tonight at seven o'clock at the X. Eight games to go, five of those on the road, but. Uh, Again, a mathematical miracle is essentially needed the rest of the way. Geographical lot. Yeah, glimmer might be even a, a strong word at, at this point because of just how the schedule shakes out. Um, the Kings have a way easier schedule the rest of the way. Mostly uh, home games. Uh, the Wild. Uh, and it's not even just the, like the fact that the home road. It's the fact that they're playing the Ducks twice and the Ducks are terrible. And um, they play the Sharks, I think. It, uh, it might be tonight even. Um, so it's it's tough, uh, but they uh, they can't control that. They can get up to 16 more points before the year is done, and if you can maybe get 14 of those 16, maybe there's some miracle. But uh, yeah, it's tough. All right, so let me ask a question that that I feel like I have to field all the time during the football season, especially late in the season. Like, does it matter? Like, it, does it really? This team is not strong enough to contend for a cup. What are we doing? Like, what do they? Isn't it? Isn't it just better off that they just lose out and get guys healthy and maybe I, get better draft status? I, I mean, don't that's think you're like, gaining much at this point, and they're gonna. I mean, they're gonna work their asses off regardless. There's, sure, there's yes, no, I agree. Yeah, and so, so there's really no way of 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 tanking at this point. No reason to, because like I said, I just don't think that there's much of a benefit. Um, this is gonna. I don't want to make up the preposterous statement tournament next Go year. For it. So I'm. I'm Give her hell. Walking in carefully here to this, but it should be noted that the Florida Panthers made the playoffs in like the final two days last year and made their way all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Um, different situations, I get it, but hockey's a very stupid game. Uh, and if you That's get a mean. hot goaltender and if you get... Oh, no wonder you love it. You know, so, I mean, are, could, are they a cup contender? No, I mean, they're not even in the playoffs right now, but... We've seen some pretty wild and crazy stuff here over the years, and we'll see. <laughs> All right, so uh, are you going to the game out there? You don't have to tell me if you are. Like, uh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm, try- I'm, try- I'm trying to find uh, the best way to get tickets, actually. I don't have it's any It's called buy them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is it Friday and Saturday? <laughs> I've bought, I've bought plenty of wild tickets. Is it out there. Have. Friday or Saturday? I'm just kidding. Around. It was a joke. We do jokes on here. We do. <laughs> have you? Ever, so it's not good, but we do them. I I'm just trying to figure out where the stadium is. Uh, it's, oh. Where is it? <laughs> I, I could care less about oh, the game. It's, oh. the it's right by a park, MGM, and yeah, because like, there's York. a little bar right there. I think exactly. it's Tom's Watch Bar, to be honest. Yeah, it is Tom's yes. Watch Bar. So we might be doing some uh, some stuff before the game for people who are down there. So if you are uh, going to the game, I think we're going to hang out. The little pre-party at uh, Tom's Watch Bar, which is uh, uh, New York, New, New York, York, New which York, is right next to T-Mobile. Yeah. You ever been to the M and M shop there? I have. Yeah, good, so good spot. The Hershey good chocolate spot. bar down there, so good. There's an Irish bar in New York, New York. Yes, oh, no. dude, I love that place. So yeah. Ah, oh, man, have I? Yeah, you get some really done some damage there, to right? myself in that yeah. spot. <laughs> Honestly, me too. And then I left the bathroom and I went and I got a cocktail. Okay. <laughs> but That's what really matters is. 
is this? I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> you know what time it is? What? Tool time. Mark Rosen in the movies. Now, you guys might not know this, but Mark Rosen's been trying to break into the movies for a long time. I love the new imaging. Yeah. Man, who did Diego do that? Mark <laughs> Rosen in the movies. Yeah. 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 Was that Diego? <laughs> three? Do you go three there or two? Two. Oh, it almost sounded like it was three. That was fantastic. Mark Rosen in the movies. Oh, yeah, you got, you got the deep guy. In yeah, yeah, the deep guy. Do you guys remember a movie called Pulp Fiction? Of course. Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that Rosie uh, auditioned for that film? <laughs> no. He was a very specific role, a guy by the name of Zed. Do you remember what Zed did? <laughs> Is he the gimp? No, he's the guy um, The other guy? treats. Got it. The, uh, what, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Ving Rhames? Ving Rhames. Yeah, he mistreats Ving Rhames. Mm -hmm. Rosie auditioned for that role. <laughs> now, he, you I'm might remember. he didn't get it. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> You're going to be real surprised in a minute when you hear the scene, that uh, his audition. Uh, here's the real scene. You want that gun, don't you, Zed? Go ahead and pick it up. Go ahead and pick it up. Come on, Zed, up, boy. Hmm. I want you to pick it up. Step aside, whoops. Step aside. You okay? Nah, man. I'm pretty and far from okay. Not a bad job. Here's Mark Rosen as Zed in his audition. I do. <laughs> Go ahead and pick it up. Here, give it to me. <laughs> Go ahead and pick it up. It's hard. <laughs> Step aside, whoops. How is his butt? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you okay? Gargling. No, man. <laughs> I'm pretty kind of far from okay. <laughs> Oh, please. You're benefiting from this. <laughs> now, it seems like he went off script a little, doesn't it? Yeah. And yeah. I, I do like the fact... Well, he did some ad libbing. Yeah. I like the fact that he didn't want people to misconstrue what was happening, so he says gargling. gargling. Yeah. <laughs> I, like like an like, gargling. I think he was reading the script. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, just to clarify, what was that bit called? Uh, this is more... Uh, I, I'm sorry, you're right. Hold on. Mark Rosen in the movies. Got it. Yeah. I, f I feel like he missed, maybe missed just the tone of that scene. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's why he didn't get the part. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I mean, other, other than that, I liked all the ad-libs. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, big fan of Mark Rose in, in the movies. That's a good bit. <laughs> no, he, again, he actually did uh, audition for A Serious Man with yeah, the, sure the Coen brothers. Yeah, and he was surprised he, did. he didn't get it. A little surprised yeah. he didn't get it. How'd he finish? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I think he finished dead last. He had a pretty good day, though. Let me play it for you one more time because you missed it. You want that gun, don't you, Zed? I do. <laughs> Go ahead and pick it up. Here, give it to me. Go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> it's hard. Step aside, whoops. That was his butt. <laughs> See, that's... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Gargling. No, man. <laughs> I'm pretty kind of far from okay. Oh, please. You're benefiting from this. Mark Rosen okay. in the movies. <laughs> uh, the Twins beat the Brewers 7-3. to three. The Drunken Scotties are now 4-1. and one. The uh, Twins are up to 3-2, and two, and they have their home opener today. Oh, yeah. uh, yesterday was all about Ryan Jeffers. He hit a three-run home run in the seventh to break a 3-3 three, three tie, and then his uh, singled in Correa in the ninth. Nice little uh, game for Jeffers, and the bullpen was solid. Uh, Kirilov, four for four. Two singles, a double, and a triple. Again, home opener today, though, 310 versus the Guardians. How's it looking weather-wise today? Pretty good today. High of 50 and, uh, and sunny. Hmm. Hmm. Heard there might be some wind. Very windy. Man, it was windy yesterday, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me, you guys? <clears throat> so get this. It just never seems like you can, like, if you're a homeowner, you just never feel like you catch a break, right? Right. Doesn't matter. Yeah. There's always something going There's on. There's always something, man. Always something. Yeah. So because of said wind, 
It literally blew over our fence. No kidding. There's a section oh of my, our fence what? between yeah. our neighbor's yard, broke two of the posts. It was an older fence. It was like, it was original to the house. It's the one thing that we didn't tear down. So we kept the fence. So I don't know. The fence is probably 20 years old. Just the posts are just kind of rotten out. I knew it was like, it's like on the list of like projects that we got to do at some point in time. Mm-hmm. Well, Mother Nature just said like, yeah, you're going to move that to the top of the list there, pal. Uh, yeah, you're going to so, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wooden fence, RIP. Do you hate your neighbors so much that you want your yard separated? <laughs> no, no. I mean, that's the thing we've kind of talked about. We're like, you know, we'll, just, we'll take it down because it's definitely an eyesore right now because, you know, part of the fence is still up, but it's leaning and the other part is down. Um, you know, we'll take uh, take a beat, reevaluate whether or not, like, what's it look like? We just have the two yards just connected. There's still an event. They have an invisible fence. We have an invisible fence for the dogs. So, like, you know, that's taken care of. Mm. I don't know. My wife's like, maybe I'll just plant some stuff there, maybe like a natural hedgerow. Who knows? Who knows? But so there's a bustle. That was a kick in the balls yesterday. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, I rode my motorcycle over to get some work done on it last night, and uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, that's scary. That's uh, That was windy. I like it. I like the wind, man. She's like the wind. Oh, great point. Can I, oh, yeah. What happened to the music? No, we over. don't know. We really don't have Can a clue. we not talk about it? Is that uh, another thing? No, it's not that we can talk about it all we want. I, we ain't got no answers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's over for So k one is not playing anything either? No, they, oh, they, they have are. their music station. They have a license. Oh, we don't have a license? We don't have a license, and uh, our beloved iHeartRadio people won't buy us a license. So, so because you guys matter. aren't designated a radio station, you can't a play music radio station. a music radio station. Yeah, yeah, you right, can't. Yeah. Yeah, we don't pay for licenses because they don't care about us. The problem is the podcasting. <laughs> so no more montages on Monday for like 9 to noon? Who knows? No. Yeah, oh, those will be sorry, around. PJ. It's just... It's, they won't be in the podcast. They won't be in the podcast. What about? So you got to listen live. <laughs> what in the sweet hell is that? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what, what, that's Are you okay? Uh, that might bump. be just the sound check in your head, Tom. Uh, yeah, that's, that's another... That's bumps opener. You yeah. were just doing Marvin Gaye? That was Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Okay, now I hear. Oh, is he here? I hear a little gay in there, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, uh, uh, would well, you go sir. get our guest, Maxo? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anna's here. We're going to put her, by the way, is that cool? It's okay. We'll put her in that chair you're in. She's here now, and uh, Max is going to get her, so we're going to we're gonna have the uh, the old icebreaker oh, yeah, in gotta person. Huh? Got to get to know her. All yeah. right, so she's coming up next. The news is next. Ben's here. Meets us. Robot loose. Talks NFL Draft what? with Ben Lieber at 740. Ben, uh. Do you have questions prepared for Meat Sauce Robot? I do. It's draft yes, time. I yet. do. Yep. We're getting down to the wire here. It's all about Ben and Meat Sauce Robot at 740. More of the Power Your Morning Show after this on The Fan.